Round five, we are facing ants on a log. They usually play like some sort of Grixis Delver four color style of deck. And our hand, it's not great. Like ideally the ad nauseum and the burning wish would be rituals, but I think this is a keep. We did not win the die roll. And they're on Grixis Delver. So you let them daze this if they want because it takes them off a blue card, but also they can't Pyromancer next turn. We have to shuffle that. Unfortunately, we just need mana. Better Blossom. Okay. It's a little spicy. I'm passing there like I could probe into Duress, but it makes our life total pretty low. And then on top of that, if they daze, we have to sacrifice Lotus Petal. Uh, Wasteland is not good for us. So in this game, effectively our goblins are never live because of Pyromancer and Bitter Blossom. I think we have to take the Vorsa Ball here. Our goal this game is just going to be the Tendrils to stay alive long enough for their Bitter Blossom to kill them, I believe. We really need to draw like another Lines Out Diamond in order to win through days here. We're not in a good position.
and Delvin Gurmag. Yeah. So, how much damage is that next turn? 8, 10, 11. So, our probe is effectively shut off here if we miss. Okay. So, we're probably dead. Oh, they have force too. Yeah, we're definitely dead. Okay. Can we fool them into killing or into dying? I feel like if they were going to, they'd be forcing or countering this Lotus Petal. Yeah, alright, so we're dead. Hope our opponent decides not to counter this for some stupid reason. Okay, so we're bringing in two more empties. We no longer have the fourth Chromax to bring in, and we're going to board out one Wish, one Tutor. And that's it. I did some uh, research while we were losing game one, and it turns out that our opponent only plays one cyborg sweeper. So these empties should be pretty effective. This was their list from last week. So they only have two Pyromancer and then the one Bitter Blossom. So the one Blossom is effectively normally the third Pyromancer, but it's a little bit better in the Delver Mirror. And then they only have one Marsh Casualties and one Fluster. So. The empty plan is actually pretty good against them if we can get it off. Okay, so we're on the play for game two. Seems okay.
decent hand. So this is going to be a mini empty. It's really to just mess with their resources. So we actually don't care about Hydro Blast or Red Elemental Blast. So what we're going to do here is name Gurmag Angler, even though it's like not a card we're concerned about. So with Hydro Blast in their hand, another empty won't even be that effective. I kind of think we should just get Ad Nauseam and hope to draw a Dark Ritual. That might be wishful thinking though. Yeah, I'm going to grab another empty, I think. I therapied this turn because I them flipping two dollars in a row is going to put us in a position where it's going to be very hard for us to come back. So they didn't want to wasteland us. They might be looking to use the red elemental blast on a token. Or the hydro blast. Yep. Okay, so now we can just empty you for four.
who did not shuffle. That's not good news for us. It looks like they probably found their merge casualties, if I had to guess. Or a Grumag. Grumag. We're brainstorming now to avoid this red elemental blast. But it looks like it doesn't matter as our draws are going to be kind of dead for the next few turns. So we can attack for 7, putting them to 5. And it's just not good enough. We've probably lost this if I had to take a guess. They probably kept the Red Elemental Blast in their hand. Okay, days. We need to draw a Burning Wish. Or even Infernal Tutor. And they did not shuffle with Bonder. I don't know if we've seen them shuffle with Bonder yet. Well, there's Tudor. I have a feeling we're about to get blown out by some sort of counter. So we should just grape shot them for seven and then swing seven. 
they can only block three and then they'll take four and die. The power of grape shot. In this situation, it could have been Goblin War Strike as well. But in general, Grape Shot's a little bit more flexible. Pulled that one out of our ass. I'm crediting that one to Grape Shot. Okay. Run it back. See if we can be 5 0. Well, we won't be 5 0 keeping a hand like this. And they have kept. This will have to do. Can't go down to five against them. I mean, we can go down to five. It's just like, this is playable enough. You have Island Ponder Brainstorm. Gonna need some pretty good draws in order to win this, though. That is not one of the draws we needed. I think one of our better draws here would be Gitaxian Probe, just so we can see what we can do and what we're up against. Sure, why not? Yeah, we probably have lost this one. I mean, we probably lost this one before the therapy, but it's not looking good. Nope. Okay, uh, we don't have a, like a string of draws that are going to come back from this, so I'm just going to concede. All right, well, we're 4-1. Let's see if we can make a comeback. Still top eight this. We have two rounds to go.